Welcome back team! And today we're doing full body strength training workout. I will be using dumbbell and the kettlebell as an option. So grab your water everybody and let's crash this workout together. Alright guys, so let's begin with a good quality warm-up first. We have three warm-up exercises today. Your first one is a knee lift to the lunge and then we switch the legs. So join me when you're ready. We already started. All right, pick up the pace a little bit. Keep your balance, brace the core. Very good. Reach higher, step wider to your lunge. If you are a very beginner, guys, just do your lunges without knee lift. Keep on working, guys. Let's wake up the body first, as always, so we can have, first of all, safe and effective workout. Burn a lot of calories. I'm using the kettlebells today to different weights and the dumbbells for the certain exercises. If you don't have the kettlebells, don't worry about it. You can use your dumbbells just the same effectively. All right, a few more and vice versa. You can use the kettlebell for each and every exercise without using the dumbbells. Couple more times, guys. Big lift, finish strong all the way. And let's do a couple more, just to make sure. Reach, last one, excellent. Your second warm-up exercise is gonna be walk to plank. We do it a lot, it's a very good effective warm-up exercise. All right, beginners, if you have to go on your knees, totally fine. Keep on moving, guys. Walk, 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 come back, knees on the floor, if you have to. Pick up your belly, brace your core, guys, in your plank. Regardless, you're doing the knees on the floor or you're doing the plank fully. Keep on walking. Very good. All the way, my friends. All right, if you are a very beginner, guys, welcome. We are result-driven people here. We never give up. We always get what we after for. We can modify, slow down, but we never give up. All right, team, a few more reps. Keep on walking. That's it. Let's do a couple more just to make sure. And we're gonna stay, guys, in that plank. Beginners, if you have to do the top out instead, this is totally fine. And intermediate and advanced, start your jacks in the plank. Wider, guys. Waking up, waking up, waking up. You've got it. Keep on working. I can feel like my heart rate is rising. Hopefully yours too, guys. Thumbs up, everyone. Keep on moving. That's it. Few more reps left, guys. Don't quit. Excellent. We have eight. Four to go. Three, two. Beautiful, come on back up. All right, guys, I'm so proud of you. Good start, drink your water. And for the first block, we're gonna be working right side and left side separately. And we do the two rounds for the block number one. So sip your water, stay hydrated. Your first exercise, guys, you will use your dumbbell if you have one. Or if you're using just the kettlebells, you can do it with the kettlebell. We're gonna start with the one leg, step back, and your dumbbell in your right, or in your left, but if you follow me, then in your right. We're gonna go lunge, counterbalance it, overhead press, knee lift, just like we did in the warm up, and we're all doing on one side. 10 reps. Ready, guys? Here we go. Counterbalance it, press. 10 reps on each side. Two. Use a kettlebell, lighter dumbbells if you have to. That is perfect. Good job. That's good, guys. This is number five. Stay with me. Hold that balance, beginners. Knee lift is optional. We have four to go. Full overhead press. Three. Two. Last one, guys. All right, perfect. Finish this exercise first. Come on back. Grab your kettlebell if you have one. If you don't, then use your dumbbell. We're gonna go ahead, guys, for that squat and high pull. 
So step wider, it's all on one arm, on the same arm. Use the arm outside, on the waistline, up front, whatever feels good. All right, good quality high pull. So it's not the upright, it's wider. Ready for 10 reps, here we go. One, two, three. Use the distant weights, guys. We do today the strings training. So the weights are a little bit heavier than we use in the cardio strings or we use in our hit. Quality squat, guys. Keep on working, guys. Almost there. Take a look from the side. I squat right in my glutes, right into my glutes. Two more. One more. Beautiful. All right, guys, few seconds break. We take a very short breaks, a little bit longer than in a hit. So your next exercise on this side, which will complete this right side, is staggered legs. Right and right. It's gonna be exchange, top back. Exchange, top back. Working shoulders, abs, legs. All on one side only. Get ready. Three, so not too far. No too close. Staggered leg squat. Here we go. So it's not a ledge. One, two, three. Hold the balance. Four, guys. Five. Don't forget to top. Six, seven. We have two left. I'm using 15 pounds of the kettlebell. One more time, just in case. Excellent. Put your kettlebell back. If you have your dumbbell, we're going to go for other side. Those three exercises from the other side. All right, guys, get ready for the balance. Counter stretch it. Dumbbell on the position, I'm using 10 pounds dumbbell. Ready, set, brace your core. Knee lift is optional. Press. Good work. Focus, guys. Give me good quality lunge. Down. Beautiful. Push it up. We're halfway through. Right here, we have five reps left. Five. Find the balance. Four. Three. Strong and tall. One more. That's it. Finish this exercise. Back to your lunge. Excellent. Dumbbell back. All right, I'm gonna be using 15 pound kettlebell for the high pull. I also have a 10 pound but it feels great for now. Good quality squat into the glutes. Good quality high pull on other arm. Ready? Come on. 10. Don't hurry up, guys. Form. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Abs in. Eight. Two more. One more, guys. That is it. Great work. Kettlebell or dumbbell down. Remember, you can do the same exercises using your dumbbells. All right, exercise number three. Staggered leg squat. Make sure you don't step too wide for your lunge. Ready? Set. Here we go. Don't forget to tap. One. Two. Don't back bend too much. Three. Into the glute on the left four. Five. I'm using 15 pounds. Front knee, nice away from the front toes. On that staggered leg squat. One more. Excellent. All right, let's drink the water. Stay hydrated. We have to take those two sides, so we're exercises for each side. One more time from the top. All right, guys, grab the dumbbell or the kettlebell. Remember, counter straight, counter balance on the side, dumbbell on the position. Ready, set, knee lift is optional. Knee lift is the opposite leg towards your overhead. That's it. Find the balance. We don't have to hurry up. Perfect. One side, halfway through. We have five reps. 
10 total. Where's the front knee, guys? That's it. Last one, everyone. Finish this exercise. Come on back. All right. Dumbbell back. Grab your kettlebell. I'm going to be still using 15 pounds of the kettlebell. Single leg, single arm, high pull, full squat. Ready? Here we go. Both feet, guys, nicely grounded. Three. Full squat, guys. Five. To the side. To the side and slightly back with your elbow. Way to the shoulders. That's it. Breathe actively, guys. Two reps left. Perfect. Kettlebell down. We're gonna go for a staggered legs. Right leg up front. Don't forget to step forward. When you step back, not too far. And there is a squat, right? Okay. Ready? Come on down. Don't back bend. Stay with me. Breathe actively. Again, I'm using my 15 pounder kettlebell. For this exercise, kettlebell is definitely a little bit more appropriate than the dumbbell. Just more, more comfortable to switch under than the dumbbell, but dumbbell is possible. Two more. One more. That's perfect. Put the kettlebell back, grab your dumbbell, or use the kettlebell for overhead. All right, guys. Counterbalance on other side. Overhead, opposite knee lift as an option. Here we go. We do another side. Two. Three. Higher knee lift, guys. Control the balance. That's perfect. Very challenging on this side for me. Plus, body getting tired. Four reps to go, guys. Hold the posture. Good quality over hat. No weight on your toes, guys, on the front toes. Finish this one. Beautiful. All right. Grab your kettlebell. I'm gonna grab equal what I did on the other side. Both feet fully grounded. High pull, guys. Give me a good quality squat. Watch the shoulders. Elbows come up. Wrist directly under knees. That elbow. Very nice. That's perfect. We halfway through. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Beautiful. All right, guys. Standard legs in the squat. Ready? So now your left is leading. Your kettlebell or dumbbell starts in the left. If you follow me, not too far, not too close. Here we go. Don't forget to top and squat. That's it. Perfect. Stay with me. We have five to go. Five. Four. Stay with me. Two reps, my friends. One more. Beautiful. All right. Round two of the block number one, guys, is complete. We're gonna to move to the block number two, which has four exercises, and we will do this block three rounds. All right, your first exercises, you will need your kettlebell. If you have a two different sizes, I will definitely, guys, recommend you to go with a heavier one. I'm gonna be using my 15 pounders. It's a kettlebell, halfway squat, and swing. Try to keep your wrist steady. Good quality swing, guys. Using the core for the swing, using the legs. Brace the center, and here we go, 16. One, two, three. Stay with me. I will tell you when we're halfway through. 
Keep on working. All right, we have only eight to go, guys. Eight, seven, up to 90 degrees swing. Six, five, four, three, two, target the entire body. Last one, guys. Put it back down. Excellent, few seconds break. Your second exercise in this block is courtesy lunges, switch from outside. We don't have to hurry up, take a look. So when you go to courtesy, you switch, then you go to the other side. So give me good quality courtesy lunges, good quality switches, we don't have to hurry up. Get ready, set, and here we go, wide. 16 total, two, three, four, give me quality, guys, five, six, we halfway through almost, that's it, we have eight to go, stay with me, try not to back bend, guys, use your legs, we have six, I'm still using my 15 pounders, One rep from each side. That's perfect. All right, guys, for the next exercise, I would recommend you to grab one dumbbell or you can stick with a lighter weight kettlebell. I'm gonna grab my 10 pounder dumbbell. It's a squatted bicep curl, overhead press, and tricep. It's all in the squats. If you are a beginner, you can stay up and pull, maybe not from the beginning, maybe a little bit later once your legs are gonna give up. All right, you ready? Squatted position first, and that's where we're gonna stay, abdominal wall in. Begin bicep, over, all the way, back, down. Let's go, 16 of those, two. Back. Nice, good quality squat. Challenging, guys. Challenging for the legs, definitely. All the way, squatted bicep, overhead. That's it. Stay with me, stay with me, don't give up. Don't arch your back, guys, too much. That's perfect. We are halfway through after this one. My legs is giving up, but I'm not. Bicep up. We have only, guys, six reps if you're with me. This is a challenge, guys, for the legs and for the arms. We have three to go, guys. Stay with me till the very end. Up. One more. Bicep up. I almost forgot about my upper body. It wasn't as challenging as for the legs. Let's put the dumbbell back. And Tim, you're gonna grab for exercise number four, your kettlebell. I'm gonna do this round with 15 pounds. See how it feels? So your next exercise in this round is upright throw. So your hands together, hold them together. This, this is advantage of the kettlebell. Shoulders, hop back and down. Here we go. Don't lift your shoulders. One. Elbows driving up. Three. Four. Stay tall. That's good. That's it, guys. Don't back bend. We're halfway through. We have eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, stay with me guys, three, two left. 15 pounds feels challenging, but definitely doable. I think I'm gonna stick with this for the next round as well. All right guys, drink your water, stay hydrated. We have to do this round from the top to the bottom all the way two more times. So your first exercise, Kettlebell swing. On the position, step wider for your squat. 
It's a pretty deep squat, but not all the way. I want you to focus on the back, core and arms. Keep the wrist super steady. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Don't back bend too much. That's it. We're halfway through, guys. We have eight reps. One, two, strong black, strong arms. Four to go. Two left. That's good, finish strong. All the way. Excellent, all right. Your next exercise is gonna be the transfer. Remember, courtesy lunges, good quality courtesy, transfer outside. All right, we ready, on the position. 16 total, wider, stronger, lower. Keep the chest up and tall, here we go. Step first, then transfer. Step first, then transfer. A lot of core work, some abs work for you to transfer. Legs, of course, arms and shoulders. That's it. Stay with me. That's it. We have four guys left. Four, three, two, final one. All the way with me, excellent. You're gonna put your kettlebell down if you have your dumbbells. Dumbbell for this exercise would be a little bit more appropriate and just more comfortable. But if you don't have it, you just prepare your kettlebells. You can do it with the kettlebells. It's a challenging one, guys. Remember, it's a squatted bicep overhead to the tricep extension. Anytime you feel your legs failing, come on up to the standing position. All right, we do it together. Ready, pull the navel in. That's it. Two. I count, guys, you do it. I'm doing it as well. You don't have to worry about the counts. Just follow me. All the way. All right, guys, we are halfway through. Eight left. Come on up to the up in straight pull position on your feet if you have to, but don't do it on the first call, right? Wait until your legs screaming. If those legs are screaming. We have three to go, guys. Push it. Two. One more, you got it, that's perfect. Come on up, put the dumbbell back down, grab your kettlebell back. I'm gonna be using, guys, 15 pounder. We go for the upright row. Stay nice and tall, steady on those feet. Do not lift the shoulders, right, elbows, lifting up and don't bend the wrist too much. Ready? We do it together, 16. Up. Don't drop the kettlebell or the dumbbell back, guys. Control the weights. Control it. You got it. All the way, guys. So long your body. We halfway through. Eight. That's it. Don't hurry up. Find a good form. Four to go. Team all together. Four. Three, two, one more. That is perfect, team. All right, put that kettlebell back, drink your water. We have to repeat this round one more time for the best results. All right, stay hydrated. Thumbs up, second breath. You're gonna grab your kettlebell. Catabal swing. I'm still gonna stick with the 15 pounders. Step wider, give me good quality swing. Use a lot of core, a lot of arms and shoulders. No too deep squat, but don't back bend much. Ready? We do it together, come on. At least up to 90 degrees. Two. All the way under. 
four, five, six, seven, and we have only eight to go, guys. Eight together, seven, six, steady arms, guys, steady arms, my friends. All right, finish strong, three, two, one, all the way, done. Kettlebell transfer in a courtesy lunges. We do it slow, you step first, then you transfer. I'm gonna be using my 15 pounder kettlebell, love it. All right, ready, on the position. Join me when you're ready. Big step, then transfer. Big step, then transfer. 16 total, guys. Watch your backs. Breathe. We're halfway through on this exercise. That's perfect. That's it. Stay with me. Four left only. Four, guys. Three. Two. One more. Beautiful. We're gonna grab the dumbbell if you have one. If not, use your kettlebell. You can also use the medicine ball for this exercise if that's available. Pick the right weight because we stay in squatted through the entire the exercise for 16 reps, so it's pretty tough. All right, on the position. Weight into the glutes, guys, away from your knees. Here we go, bicep. Don't go too low for the squat, because otherwise you're not gonna be able to do your good quality over hot. It's a squatted, but not full squat. Enough for your legs to get tender. That's good. Put your abs in, support your back. We got it. We halfway through, my friends. Come on. Finish strong with me, everybody. Good strong arms, guys. Good quality. Strong arms don't drop your weights. Whatever weights you're using. Control those weights till the very final release of the bicep. We have three reps left, including this one. Two left. One more, guys. One, up, that's it. All right, feels amazing. We have final exercise of this block, which will conclude our round, our round number three. I'm gonna be using 15 pounds for upright row. Stay steady, about hips width apart or slightly wider. Watch your shoulders, everybody. Drive the abs in. Ready, here we go, one. To the advantage to use the kettlebell here, you do not open your arms too wide because you can't. Your grip is very steady. I like to do upright rows with kettlebell rather than with a dumbbell, rather than with two dumbbells. Stay tall. That's it. Very nice, guys. We're almost there. We have six, five, feet strong. Four, three, two, excellent. All right, my champions, my superstars, put that kettlebell back, drink your water, stay hydrated, and we move in for the block number three, which is not about abs and core. I'm gonna be using for first exercise, a lighter weight kettlebell. You can use nothing and just alternate a little crunches, or you can use your dumbbell. You can also use a medicine bowl if you have prepared one today. It's a beef crunch. We did it a few times through the last few months, so it's under, it's under, right? So your heels on the floor, your abs are in and tight. You scoop your belly in, if you're too low, you're gonna feel your neck. If you do high, you're not gonna feel your abs. So it should be somewhere in between. Get ready, set, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two. Don't hurry up. Three, four, five, six. Stay low. Seven. Stay low. Eight. All right, we're almost there. Lower. We have four to go, guys. Four, three, two. Higher leg lift. Excellent. Beautiful. For the next exercise, you can do it without the weight or you can join me with one single dumbbell or the kettlebell. I'm still gonna be using my 10 pounder. So it's a heel to heaven crunch using the kettlebell or the dumbbell. But we also will add little pull over so you can work some of your chest and stretch your abs. All right, ready? Grab the dumbbell or the kettlebell. Here we go. One, two, three. When you do your crunch, guys, try to touch your feet, your toes with your equipment. And really crunch it. Crunch it, that's how you touch it. From the center. That's good, from the center, guys. All the way back, from the center. All the way back. We're more than halfway through, guys. Let's go. One. Two. Keep the legs up and pull. All the way, guys. We have two more reps left. You ready? One more. Beautiful. Your next exercise without the weights. We're gonna put this kettlebell temporarily down. This is your plank jack plus hand top. But the difference we're doing today, it's a simultaneous jack and simultaneous top. So it's jack top, jack top. So once you do your jack in your plank, you top. For the beginners, you can do the single leg, top out instead. So it's gonna look like this. So you don't do your jack. Everyone else, we ready? 16 reps only, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, wider jack, seven, eight. We have only eight to go together. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Excellent. I am so proud of you guys. That was a challenging one. We have to repeat this block one more time from the very, very top. All right, I'm gonna grab my 10 pounder kettlebell for the switches. Try to lift your legs higher, right? And then we went under. All right, we ready? Scoop the belly in, you have to sit quite lower so you feel those abs, scoop the belly in. Here we go, one, two, three, stay low, four, five, six, seven, and only eight left. Eight, team, don't give up. Seven, six, higher leg lift, five, Four, finish strong, three, and two, and one. That was challenging. All right, heels to have a crunch, added a little bit, pull over. If you're not doing the pullover, just heel to have a crunch. Make sure that you start and then the movement from the very, very center. All right, legs up, my friends. Got a bell or dumbbell up. Here we go, one. All the way back. Two. All the way back. Three, guys. Grind from the center. Up. You have to lift your shoulders, guys, off the floor. All the way. And up. And up. Back. And up. All the way. We have only seven left. Seven. Back, 
six, back, five, all the way, four, stay with me, three, two, one more, final, and back, coming up, all right, next exercise, number three in this block is going to be your simultaneous jack and top. Again, if you're not doing the jacks, you're doing just the regular top outs. Do your best, knees on the floor if you have to for the beginners. Here we go. One, you don't have to do it fast. Two, concentrate on the core strength. Three, four, five, six, seven, a lot of arms as well. Eight, we have only eight to go. Finish strong, one. Two, three, four. Remember, less is more. Good quality form. Five, six, seven, one more. Eight. Beautiful. We also have our finisher today. So it's going to be your low plank, your dolphin plank. Hip points to the side, to the floor. Almost to the side dolphin plank, but your both arms will stay on the ground. It's going to be challenging after all we did. Great for your arms, great for the abs. All right, guys. All the way on the position. We have 16 total. Swing it. One. It doesn't have to be fast. Two. I want to have a good quality. Three. Fully keep on the floor. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And we have only eight to go, guys. Stay with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, final one, guys. Beautiful. Come on up. Up on your table, Cole. Congratulations. Your workout of the day is complete, but let's do a good stretches before I will let you go. Reach it left all the way up and extend it. Opposite arm. Body shaking, but this is okay. Four, guys. Three, two. Go ahead and grab your ankle if you can, or continue to hold your arms and legs extended. We have four, three, two. All the way back, round the spine. Relax your neck in opposite direction. Reach. Point. Hold, hold for four, three. Two, and all the way. Take it. Grab your feet in, if not. Hold the arms and legs extended. Four, guys. Three. Excellent. Two. All the way back. One more time, round the spine. And relax your neck. Good work. We will slowly tuck the toes. And find our downward facing dog. One of the best stretches ever created. When done right, target each and every muscle in our body. Put the belly in and slowly walk up. We're going to top out one foot outside. Lateral stretch. And all the way back. Opposite direction. Lateral stretch. Good job. Go ahead and tap your one heel. Up front, Achilles and the hamstring. Hold it with me for four, three, two, and coming back, all the way. Tap it out, and four, guys. Four, and three, and two, come on back up. Final reach, all the way. Quality, strong, please squat one more time, guys. And exhalation, set your mind for the great success for today. Awesome job, everybody. So make sure to comment down below how your body feels. How did you do this work? How are you new? Welcome, guys. Welcome to the Result Driven People family. Make sure to subscribe. And I will see you guys all tomorrow.